Okay, kittens. This is the last bag. For some reason, it feels heavier than the other ones. So, I wonder if they've kind of overloaded it a bit. Which would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Let's have a few extra bits in there. So, we are still looking for the other one to that earring. And then another one to that amber earring would be quite nice as well. Because that's pretty. And obviously any other, you know tasty bits that might be in there. It'd be quite nice to find a little bit more gold, although... Ooh, yeah, they've definitely overloaded this one. Um, although we've done well on the gold so far, so I am super duperly chuffed. Um, oh my word, there is a lot here. There's a lot. Okay. First of all, let's pick out the... that hair clip thing. Um, and pearl. Although, does that have a little mark on it? There? What do you think? That looks like that might be a little mark out. Oh, um, it's gold filled. It's 1 20th, 12 carat gold filled. So, they're faux pills as well. So, that'll go into the pearly lot. Or maybe into the vintage lot. No, no, it'll go into a pearly lot. Oh, some more Primark earrings. Sorry. I'm really though, because it's actually been quite a long day. It's like 8 o'clock, I've had chicken dinner, I've been to the pub. I've made three videos today. Yeah, this is the third video I've done today. Or is it the fourth? Have I done them all today? I can't even think, you know. I'm just looking at that and they're going like, that's a nice little vintage bracelet with some potential Hubble glass there. It, um, it's got all of its little stones. That is quite nice. Possibly Czechoslovakian. I like that. That is something that I will sell. Excellent. That's a good start. Some fat face, like band. That's going to go in there. That's not something I would sell on its own. This looks weird. Like made out of leather, perhaps. That's bizarre. I kind of like it. Would I sell it? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Now, it's not It's not that I don't think it's worth me selling. It's just that will I get round to doing it is the question. And probably not this decade. Right, there's a lot here. Let's move some stuff aside. I like it. Let's get rid of that. Is that a little silver chain? No, it's not sterling silver, it's just silver coloured. We've got that that's coming apart, but someone can use the beads on there. So that goes in craft. Ooh, hello. Oh, you're nice. I like you. Yep, that looks like sterling silver. So that's glass, I think. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I very like that. Yeah, like stained glass almost. That's beautiful. That might be a keeper for me. We shall see. I mean, I've got so many red heart things. I really don't need any more. But, you know, you know what it's like. It's not about need. Oh, look at them stones. Wow. That proper sparkles, doesn't it? That's lush. Quite the beast. It's going in there in a two kilo bag. Oh, that's quite cute. Little Baroque pills. I don't think it's silver. It's got all its stones though. It's quite nice. But again, not something I would actually get round to listing. So that can go in there. That's not silver either. A little Spurs badge for the Tottenham Hotspurs fans out there. Are there any? I don't know. But I'll keep that aside for pins. Oh, a little Cupid's bow pendant for pendant's lot. It looks like there's going to be a lot of littles in this one as well, so I'll try not to take ridiculously long on it. That's cool. That looks like an Aztec cross type thing. That's a pendant for pendant's lot. Mmm, another sparkly one to go into kilos. Excuse me if I don't explain everything, because we've seen 
quite a lot of the same sort of things, like the gold bangles and the and the silver earrings. That's cool. That's a little bit kind of tribal looking. And we've got a thing with feather on there. I'll put that in with the crosses. People like lots of different kinds of crosses, I think. Maybe they do some like crafty work with it. That's very kind of a uh, southwestern, handmade, beaded. I have sold these before, but I tend to sell like the multicolor ones. I've got lots of little bits there. Spikes, indeed. Mm, that looks like it might be rolled gold. There's like a coating on it. Don't think it's going to be good. I'm going to put it aside and test it just in case, but I don't think it is. That is like some kind of homemade glass piece. I will put that in the crafter's lot. And then what's this going on here? It's quite a nice bead there, but I think the overall bit doesn't really work. So I'm going to put, put that in with crafters as well. A nice like gossipy kind of one. Oh, that's cute. All the sparkly flowers. It looks like it's got all of its bits. So, someone can sell that, but it won't be me. Oh, and there's another one of them fat face things. So that's going in there as well. Oops. Right. That can go in pearly lot. And what's this? London Ambulance Service. An enamel... I don't know where that would go, like on a pocket or something. That's cool though, that might be worth looking up and seeing if I could sell it separately. That's a thing that people are after. That looks silver, doesn't it? Oh, it's like an avocado. Oh, that's so cute. It's a silver avocado. Cool. <laughs> I'm so easily amused, aren't I? Yes. Oh, are you going to be silver? I don't think you are. Maybe silver plated. But we shall get you out. It's quite a nice chain. I think a nice flat chain. Probably something that I could sell just on its own. So I'll put that aside because it's probably silver plated. And then a spiky thing. Ooh. You're a nice ankh, but you're missing some of your inlay there. That's probably lapis lazuli in there. Possibly silver. Shame if it isn't like, yeah, we'll keep that aside. We'll test that. Mm. Sparkly, missing a stone. In there you go. A little bit of leather. Doesn't seem to be much worn, so that can go in there. Oh, that's missing its pearl. We saw the other one to that earlier, but never mind. We've got a bit of clears or next. That's quite pretty though, with a little drop. Goes in two kilos. A chunky beaded one. It's kind of groovy. They look like black disco balls. And then this one hasn't got a clasp and it's probably missing a bead or is outstretched, so that's going to go into broken. Ooh. Got some like Creole style ones. Don't think they're silver though. That's a shame. They would have been fab if they were silver. I mean, they're still kind of fab. It's just they won't be for my shop. That'll go in vintage lot because we had a pink one like that earlier, didn't we? One of the gothic y style one. Oh, look at the little Nell front. Oh, that's cute, isn't he? Where's he from? From Claire's, but look at him. That's adorable. Got a solo cuff link there. Do, do, do. That looks like a soda light in there with some shells. I'm not gonna divide it from that necklace. They can both go in two kilos together. That's fine. Oh, we've got a made in France belt buckle. Or is that a hair thing? Oh no, that's a hair thing because you'd have like a pin going through there, wouldn't you? 
crafter can do something with that though, isn't it? It's like a little frame. Ooh, hello, you're nice. Oh, I like you. You look like a little bit of jade in there. Let's take you off this. Yep, that's definitely a bit of nephrite jade in there. Dang, no signature. Shame. Because that's lovely. Is there anything on that? No, nothing on that. That is ace. That is so 60s, like brutalist. I love that. It looks a bit Kubrick. It looks like the eye. How? Close the pod bay doors. I'm afraid I can't do that, Dave. That's awesome. That is quite possibly my favorite thing so far. Even including all the gold and stuff. I love that. Beautiful. Really, really cool. I'll put that there so you can still see it and admire. That's lush. Um, amber beads. See, it's funny how like you buy a few bags and then basically it's just like from the same big pile of stuff and just separated into different bags. So that's why I always get a few bags. So if you have like odd earrings and stuff, sometimes you find the pairs in another one. You see? Don't just buy one bag though. So buy a bunch at the same time. It's got a lovely plasticky but cool looking stones. Oh, that's very broken. Oh, we've got some like bone um, or horn. That's quite nice though. Like ethnic -y type thing. Oh, another butterfly thing. That one's missing bits. Cute little star necklace. Plastic ones. Actually, both of them can probably go into the kiddies lot. Oh, I've got a little silver earring with like, yeah, nine to five with tiny little dry flowers in there. It's cute. That'll go in broken. That'll be kids lot. Oh, we've got Kira. So we had a Kelly and now we've got a Kira. Now I know a Kira. But that's broken, so that's a shame. I would have given it to her otherwise, but I'm not giving her a broken bracelet that she can't use. That's hardly fair. Now, what is this heavy old chain? That's a nice chain with a skull attached to it. I wonder if it's like stainless steel. It's got tarnishing on it, which is green, which means that there's copper in there somewhere. There's no clasp on it, but it's a nice chain. Nope. In there it goes. I've got to be fussy about things, you know. Oh, do I see a really fine... I see a really fine... Gold... Oh, it's broken. Oh, that's such a shame. That would have been a little gold bracelet there but instead it's scrap let's have a look there's nine carat gold scrap but still scrap still counts it's just a shame it's not a whole bracelet but we found gold in the bag so winner winner chips for dinner that's pretty with a little hearts almost celtic -y looking isn't it cute oh and what's that say? I love Paris. Obviously, I'll put that in with pendants. And we've got a little chip that can go in with pendants as well. I think there's going to be a lot of solo earrings and pendants here, do you know? You know? A little um gold ring. Gosh, look at all of these. Right, are you a silver chain? No, you're very well used, aren't you? And battered. Never mind. Oh, I've got a cute little amethyst pendant there. That'll go in the pendant slot. Oh, there's a few kind of betting looking things. So you've got the little, the ace of spades. The ace of spades. All right, let's see if we can attack this bunch of stuff. Right, what are you? You're bent out of shape, that's what you are. One of them magnetic things going in there. 
nice red beaded cuff oh dude look at him <laughs> he's cool what does he say us out no i don't know weird but I like him, so I can sell him on his own, because I think he will sell. He's kind of groovy, you know? Oh, that one's going to go any minute, look at it. Someone can use it for its beads. Don't know what that is. Oh, this is a bit fab. Looks like it should be vintage, but it's got modern clasp on it, but... There's a nice purple bead, purple and gold. That looks quite nice together, doesn't it? It's plastic, but nice. That'll go in there. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Shame it's missing some stones. Because I definitely would have sold that. That's cool, but that's going to go into craft a lot for someone to harvest the stones, maybe. Or maybe they can fix and put in the stones. That's a tiny little pendant, little cupcake, little birdie. Got a little ring with a fairy on it. Talk bangle, it's not silver, possibly stainless steel maybe, or at least a stainless steel coating perhaps. And that goes in there. Another solo cufflink. I've got lots of little Flowers, another bead, and these plastic ones, they can go in the kiddies dress up lot. Right, are you ready to come out yet? Oh, it's all twisted around this bloody thing. So we will untwist and see if we can get it out. I can spy the other, look, look. There's the other earring there. So there we go. We've got a pair of those little dried flower earrings. That's cool. And let's get this one out. There we go. That looks like an upper arm cuff or something, doesn't it? Like that sits all the way up there. Cool, that can go in there. Is that another talk one? That one's got like copper wrapped around it. That one's quite cool, actually. Sometimes I sell these if I fancy it, but not today. Not today, Satan. Not today, Stan. That's all that. But that looks like it might be a little silver chain with a little pendant on it. It's just whether I can get it off this earring and then untangle it, which I won't do right now, obviously. But yeah, look. Oh, that's cute. That's all silver, a little faux pearl. I'm presuming it's faux. Yeah, it's faux. That's cute though, a bit of silver. Randomly, just a safety pin. Are you anything? Bit of chain, it's quite a nice bolo chain. I might test that. Safety pin quite random. Is there another bit to it? I'm sure we'll find it in a bit. Was that it? I think that was it. And were you? You look like a little bit of foreign something. Got an odd clasp at the end. He might be worth testing for gold as well. It's very bright yellow, which does either mean it's not costume or it is gold, which is, you know, no help. <laughs> right, what's this butterfly thing? Oh, wait a minute, right, hold on, okay, okay. Hold on a sec, hang a banner. Right, so we've got um, a little bone china, which will go in my bone china job lot for crafters. Quite a cute little necklace, who's it by? Medicine Paris Doucet? I don't know. Something to look up anyway. It might be a thing. It might not. Who knows? But we will learn something new. Some nice beaded necklaces. And another one. I like that colour combo. They look like leaves. 
That's quite cute. Oh, there's the big central bead to that. The vocal bead. Some more of this kind of chain. Hmm, we'll test that one as well. You never know. And that. And it would be epic if that was gold because there's quite a lot of it. Like, it probably isn't, but again, it's worth testing. What are you? Are you a bracelet? What are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, what's that? Are they like bugs? Oh, that's weird. Like A, B. Anybody recognize that mark? I quite like that. They look like... Huh? Yeah, like two bugs coming together, like... I'm gonna look that up. I think it's weird enough for me to sell. Keep that aside. So you can tell the kind of things that I like in my shop. It's gotta be weird. That's a collar press stud thing. Oh, look! It's What's Her Face. Not Venus de Milo, the other one. Oh, she signed. It's like a little signature down there, I think. Yeah, but I don't know what it is. Yeah, I like that earring. We hope that we find the friend. We'll keep them there, because we also want to find your friend. Oh, look at the poodles. A pair of poodles. Cute. Oh, what are these? That looks like it might be a little bit of twisted silver so we'll keep that aside and test that some more hair clips there there's another beady beady one oh finished off with a little oh no it's not finished off with a heart the heart isn't actually part of it that's all going in there what are you you look quite nice You've got like a little stone in the middle there Maybe not silver, I don't think. No, I don't think it is. Let's try and get this bit out. Or is it by, is it Luis, Luisa? Luisa. That can go in there. And that's broken. Is that another chain? And it's got this little axe dude on it. That's quite cool. I like that. Any marks? Looks like it might be a rolled gold, but I can't see any marks on it, but I quite like that. I will test it just in case. I don't think it's gold, but you know. What else? Cufflink. Oh, there you go. We've got a pair of cufflinks, but they've definitely been through the wall, so I'm not even going to put them in a job lot. I'm just going to go in craft. some crazy ribbon and beads and then this necklace that I want out from it. It's got a nice stone on it. Oh, come on. Where are you attached? There we go. Got a nice unusual stone. I don't think it's a silver chain, but that can go into a vintage lot. That can go into kilos. We've got a pear there. That's quite cute. Oh, that would have been a nice bead and an earring, but it's chipped at the top. That's a shame. Oh, is that that one? Oh, yeah, look, it's missing the bottom bit there. Shame. Right, what have we got in here? That's a pear. Oh, a little glass strawberry. Who are you made by? Again, that Medicine Paris Douche. Douce? Something to look up. I do like that little glass strawberry. That's very cute. That's a hair thing, isn't it? And then we've got little hearts and butterflies on there. And that looks like a pear. Fix them back together. Little bow. Right, are you going 
come out yet. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, you're only going to go into the pearly lot, to be honest. So don't get too excited, but you know. But yeah, that'll go in the pearly lot, which is cool. Oh, God. That looks like a right detanglement in there. I think there's an earring in the centre. And then there's this pendant, which is like a key. It's all by accessorise. It's probably a multi-strand McBugger. And then there's this butterfly type one. You know, a lot of butterflies today. Butterflies and K's. Yeah, just put them straight in there. This has got a little something written on the back. It's a little guitar. What do you say? Made in China. Well, there we go. It's all like musical notes, cowboy stuff. What do you say? Oh, like the Grand Ole Opry. Yeah. I might keep that aside and try and sell it because it's just something unusual that I haven't seen before. Um, a little, yep. Yeah. Test that for gold because you never know, it might be some weird foreign stuff. Because it does happen. Oh, look, a little like potion bottle. Go into in the key rings lot. Made in Italy. Oh, look at that. It's like a tiny little paperweight. Oh, I love it. That might go in my doll's house with all the miniature stuff because it's so cute. So cute. That's, um, yep, not going to work for anyone. Oh, there we go. That's a pair. Going in there. That's just a mess of stuff that we're just going to make disappear, which is a shame because I think that is silver. What's it say? Dower and Hall. Oh no, that would have been such a shame because that is a good make. Dang. But it means that these bits are probably silver, so I know this is harsh, but that goes in there and that goes in my scrap. That's a shame. They they make some pretty things. I think that'll go in the kiddies dress up lot. That one. Where's that weird bit of hmm. Probably not gold, but I'm gonna test it anyway. Oh, that's pretty. It's a shame it hasn't got a clasp though. That would have been lovely, like little forget-me-nots. Oh, you could see the time then. I'm missing Nick and Andrea to do this. How rude. How rude. They don't mind. In fact, I'm not even sure if they're on because they've just moved house, haven't they? That feels really nice. Bizarre. Um, another hair clippy thing. What about you? What are you? You're not silver and you're broken. And what are you? You're a little cool axe. wonder if you're silver. Your findings aren't. But that looks like it might be. Which would be pretty cool if it was. A proper Viking axe. So I'll keep you aside to test. That's a mad ring. It's not gonna work, you'd have to wear it on your thumb, but anyways. Do I spy a tiny a tiny gold? I think I do. I think that is a tiny gold. Yeah. Looks like a little UFO. Keep that aside to test. And what are you? Oh, I think you used to be a brooch. Not anymore. You can go in there. These beads are just about to pop, aren't they? 
can go everywhere. Let's try and not do that. And let's get this necklace out. Sod it. It's happening. So we don't have time. It's already half an hour. And we've got to do the littles. I think these are like stitch keepers, aren't they? But they would make fun earrings, so I'm going to put them into the craft a lot. Now we've got a pair of cufflinks there. Is there any more cufflinks? No, I can't see any. Nope. Lots of little earring bits. So those are the littles by the looks of it. Let's get this out because this has got a whole tangle around it. That's quite a nice stone there. Don't think it's Swarovski. It's going to be, it's Aldo, whoever those are. Not heard of them. Should I have? Tell me if I should have. Come on now, it's you. Out you come, out you come, you're going in there. I saw a little pretty, that looks quite, no, it's just costume, that's a shame. Anything here? For some reason there's like a clasp being put on a clasp. Ah, because that clasp is broken. I see. I see. Oh God. Is there anything in there worth saving? I don't think so. They look like they might all be broken necklaces and in a tangle. Yeah, I can't really see anything particularly worth saving, but someone might be able to do something with chains. Nope. 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 So that goes in the craft a lot. So does that. I think that was a silver clasp, the little one, but you know, right. So that's you out, but you look like you're going to unravel any minute, so you're going in craft. That looks quite cool, but I don't think, all right, there's a multi-strand in there and I am not in the mood for untangling any multi-strand, so I'm just going to check and see if there's anything in here that I want to save, which I don't think there is. Not particularly, that's an earring, we'll take that out. So I'm just gonna shove all of this into the two kilo lot for someone else to have fun with, if I can get it off there. I mean, that, that little turtle dude is cute and like, that is a cute necklace, but not for me right now. Right. These are the last littles. We've got a nice bracelet here. That's quite cute. Um, Brick Panther Link. I can sell that. I've saw them before. Okay, we've got what looks like lots of bits from earrings. There we go. Little chain. Right, pair, across, pair, nope, remember we are still looking out for nice backs, you a bit of gold, that might be a little bit of gold there, let's have a look. see any marks so I'll put it on the test pile 
There's the other UFO looking possibly gold earring. That's a button. Don't know what that's all about. I like jangly bells. Right. And get rid of these beads. Didn't we see that skull? Have we got two? Yep. There we go. A pair of skulls. Going in two kilos. Right, no, no, no. That looks like a pear. There we go, like little cages. literally just again doing the are you gold are you not uh, we'll check that that's not silver <gasps> oh look at the little penguin cute silver little silver penguin okay so we found a tiny tiny silver <laughs> I was throwing them in the wrong pile then. That might be a little bit of silver as well. A little silver ear cuff. Oh, little birdie with a an envelope. Put that in there. Butterfly for my sister. Key and a padlock. They can go into. I think that's silver. I can see the hallmark from there. Here we go. The more cherries. Seven seven seven. That's a nice earring. Shame it's not silver. Do, do, no, wrong. I think this is gonna be it. And put that unicorn in there. These all look like. Ooh, what are you? Are you a tiny little gold clasp? Yes, nine carat gold clasp into scrap it goes. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, is that the other silver one? I think so. Um, I don't think so. And there. And that's it. So we've got some things to test for gold. Which is awesome. Do we want to test that one? That's silver. Are you silver? You've got a lovely bit of ear gunk on you. What do you say there? 925. Ear gunk, lovely. Right. Get them aside. Oof. So I've got two and a bit, two kilo bags and a bunch of stuff. And then we've got these things to test now. <laughs> Wipe that down. Okay. Let's do the silver first because silver is easy enough really to check. I say that, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I reckon so. And you, yes, definitely silver. It's a shame that bit is missing and it's broken there. So that'll end up in scrap, which is a shame. And you are not, that's a shame. So that just goes into a two kilo bag. Right, things that Maybe gold, but probably aren't. But we hope. Right, that's these little UFO type earrings. 
And that's the earring back with the load. Oh God, it's grim. Sorry, I, can't, I don't even want to show you that. The amount of ear gunk um, is just grim. Can I see a mark on there? There's tea staining on it, see? Which makes me think possibly. And then that one, that's got a good scratch on it. And there's all these weird chains. One, two, three, four. We shall do the chains separately. That weird bit. And that weird bit. And then this necklace with the the axe on it, which I really like, and even if it's not gold, I'm gonna sell it anyway. So I'll test that bit and I'll test the axe bit. Okay. Let's see. I'm expecting pretty much all of them to fade. Yep, everything is faded, so none of them, but that bit hasn't faded so much, the actual axe. Unusual. Can't be gold. Doesn't seem like gold. Maybe it's fading a little bit. Can't see any marks. Like, there's no hole marks. But it's cool and I like it. I might take it to the jewelers and ask them. It probably isn't gold because it is solid. And it's kind of wearing away its gold tone. It's probably gold over stainless steel, which can sometimes like react the same as gold. I like it. I'm going to take it to the jewelers and see what they think. They'll probably tell me, don't be ridiculous, Lex. Of course, that's not gold. You know? Right. So we got the bangle. Yeah, none of these were gold. That's a shame, isn't it? But I can put them in there and then in there. Right, so that was the that bangle. Here's this weird nuggety thing. No, I don't think that is. And then this is probably rolled gold. Yeah, I think I can see the copper coming through there. This one's a nice color though. It's a nice yellow. It can mean high carrot or it can mean costume. Very helpful. And then these were like the weird bits that look like they might be off the back of earrings or something. Give them a good scratch. Um, do you know what? I'm going to test you as well. No, you're not gold. But just for the shits and gigs. Right. I don't expect any of these to come up. So, nope. Testing is something. Uh, nope. Testing is something. And nope. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, it was that bright yellow one and that weird one. So these are nopes. But these are maybe somethings. Hmm. Now there's no marks. Like that one definitely is still there. And that one looks potentially. So again, I will take all of these to the jeweler some point this week and get them checked. So there we go. So again, we did okay from that one. We got a little bit of scrap, didn't we? And then some weird things, but, oh, and like, Tiny, look at that. 
tiny little made in Italy pretend paperweight, which will go into my doll's house. I say go into my doll's house. It literally just sits there and does nothing. But, you know, we didn't find a friend for these, which is a real shame. But I'm going to keep them aside because I like them. And one day, you never know. You never know. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, again, if you have seen something here that you fancy for yourself, um, please do message me uh, on the email address underneath this video and I shall get back to you. So, until next time, bye-bye now, bye-bye.